Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about something kind of serious and it is about eBay prices, you know, auction prices versus FOMO versus hype. And a lot of people are going to do fake prices. So this is a card. I just won the card for $316. You can see that it has all 10s and 9.5. I've been wanting this card for a long time. I've been trying to get the card for a long time. It hasn't appeared on auction uh, in a graded form. Actually, and, and now multiples are appearing at the same time. So it's kind of weird how Weiss works. And I've been negotiating with uh, other individuals. But I want to specifically point this one out. They want $1,300 for it. And I can tell you they're not going to take any less than 800 but I was able to buy it for significantly less. And they'll go to eBay authentication and so on. The Weiss community loves doing this. They love over-exaggerating the price of their cards. And then they do like a $1,300 and buy it now or make an offer. And then when you make an offer, it will, it will just cross out the $1,300 and accept the offer. So many of these people have multiple cards. They are heavily invested in many of the same sets. Now, you might ask, what did the hell does this have to do with investment? Well, uh, there's a lot of hanky-panky stuff where people are just making up values for items that they don't ever intend to sell. I don't want to pick on MetaZoo anymore. I'm sure that community has uh, heard enough of me. But uh, they, they have such good examples of like all the wrong things you can do. So, and MetaZoo... On the Netflix show, and I believe the last episode of Golden Collectibles, the an individual went to the Meta Zoo booth, the Hello Kitty booth, and he was given two prices of two different items. One item, which actually was not for sale, was a uncut sheet of Karomi, and that was valued at five thousand dollars. I know for a fact you can print that in the Chinese factory for less than a dollar. Now, shipping will cost probably $15 to do a DHL, right? That's going to come in a tube, right? And that's if you're lucky, it's going to come in one piece. But here you have somebody who is taking something that should be relatively inexpensive, and they're inflating the value. The crazy part was in the same episode, just a few seconds after, the individual Mike Waddell shows a picture. It has a promo card. And two original pieces of art, which Mike Wardell said he paid $20 each to commission. So that the total investment into that product, probably $40, $50. Now, what value would you expect Mike Wardell to give it to? And the, the, again, this is a guy who's trying to sell it, right? He's trying to take it on consignment and then sell it and make a profit. Mike Wardell says it's worth $25,000. Something that was commissioned for $40 has now a value of $25,000. We see this a lot in Weiss. We see this a lot in Yu-Gi-Oh! We see this a lot in Magic the Gathering where the Black Lotus is. Let me tell you how a Magic the Gathering trade goes down in case you have never seen a big trade. A lot of it is, let's say the card is $500. Let's say, let's say that Black Lotus, we all agree the value is $500,000. Well, instead of trading it for $500,000 cash, why don't we trade it for $250,000 cash and half a million dollars in other product that we got a discount at one time, but we're going to value this product at half a million dollars. Now, the card looks like it's worth $750,000. Another example in Pokemon is Sasha T. He has the very famous video where he made a trade with a scammer, a known scammer now. Uh, what was his name? He's, he's the one who sold Logan Paul or sold Shine a fake $3.2 million Pokemon first edition base sealed case. That was the guy. So not, not the uh, most upfront guy. And, uh, oh, Jacob, he's no longer here. Jacob has left the country. So I think his name was Jacob, and now no one can uh, find him. When you're dealing with these individuals, the deal, he said, was $500,000. The actual deal was 100000 cash and 300000 trade. And as soon as he got the card, it suddenly he bumped it to half a million from the four hundred. 
but trade is not the same as cash. And this is something that people are FOMOing into, and I want you to avoid. I want you guys to know that on eBay, you can make a lot of mistakes. And I have made a lot of mistakes in the past with Fire Emblem Heroes, where I misunderstand the card price because I think it's worth a lot. Then it goes to auction, and f no one wants it. Now, in my own experience, I only do auctions. Because that, in my opinion, is the true price. So I don't want Mike Waddell to tell me his uncut sheet of Hello Kitty is $5,000 or his uh, original artwork that was originally $40 is now $25,000. That's not realistic. That didn't go to auction. Those are not real prices. But you might hear that price on Netflix, and if you don't know very much about the collectible game industry, and everyone kind of is just agreeing with the price, right? Oh, yeah, this looks like it's worth $25,000. A lot of people will do that. Uh, the buy it nows, like I... I, I use that card cap to secure because I really did want that. And actually, I negotiated a price, and the price was much higher. It was something around $500. But the person didn't want to take the offer. Now I got an auction, the exact same grades, by the way, the exact same, basically, in my opinion, the serial number is different, but it's the exact same card for only $316. And the other Sakura went for auction even less than that, I think $284, which I. I didn't realize it was, you know, I had to uh, click. My girlfriend had to tell me, hey, we got a bid on this now. My point is, a lot of people out there to try to scam you, they're going to make up fake values. They're going to say MetaZoo is going to be better than Magic in 5 to 10 years. This all sounds good until, like, it actually has to go to auction. I have realized that from, you know, buying and selling all these cards, like, until it goes to auction, no one actually knows, especially for these rare items. If that Hello Kitty sheet goes to auction and it sells for 5000 then I would say, oh, he's right. But I don't think that is going to sell for 5000 If the uh, MetaZoo, I don't even know what I call it, promotional artwork, if that one is supposed to sell for 25000 let it go to auction. Let it go to auction. Because... A lot of these cards, and, and this makes me really, really scared about where the, quote, investment opportunities are. They're just being flaunted. Be, there's a guy in Houston, and all he does is, like, take a very basic wise card, and he, he wants to charge extra money. There's shield building. There's uh, people bidding up their own auctions, right? There's a lot of nasty things happening in the investment community as people are trying to basically flip things over. Uh, an item, in my opinion, is only worth what you can sell it for. Not what you think it is worth. I don't know. If you guys agree, disagree, let me know in the comments below. I really hate to pick on MetaZoo, but it's so easy. I mean, they literally said this $40 item that co $40 cost item is now a $25,000 estimated value. They're not alone, though. There's a lot of people in Magic Gathering who do this, too.